to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Evan Hill shared their new, new. redesigned bottle of Larceny with us. Yeah, let's go ahead and say up front that this is not new liquid inside, right? It's the same Larceny that we've been familiar with, um, but just a new redesigned bottle, but when this came to us, we were like, hey, have we ever done uh, anything with Larceny before? Like in terms of a uh, uncorking or short and sweet, or and if we have, how long has it been? Truth be told, Sarah, I didn't actually go and look, but I can swear that we haven't. <laughs> so. And if we have, I mean, this has been out since what, 2012? 2012 was so when it So it would have been in yeah. the early days of the yeah. channel. So yeah. we'll give it a revisit, especially with its new and improved bottle. Yeah, this label's been around for 12 years. We've been around for eight years. Uh, it's, it's about time. Everybody so. getting old. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> when this first came out, it was like right on par with the proof that I liked and the price range that I liked. It like Larceny was one of my go-to, you know, yeah. just like yeah. bottles to buy for parties and get togethers just to have on the bar cart. Mm -hmm. You know, since then my, my tastes have changed, they've evolved, but I have never not liked Larceny. Right, let's see if that stays true. Nice and light nose. Yeah, light, Not classic. overly sweet with this being, you know, a weeded mash bill. Some sweetness though. There is some sweetness, sure. Now, their new campaign around this, just because we have the, you know, press release here, says it's a Seize Tonight campaign. So seize Tonight. Go seize some night, folks. Fight the break of dawn. Come tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow I'll be gone. Yes! It's not exactly how it goes, but we love a, we love a 90s music reference, a one-hit wonder. Proud of her. Thank you. Yeah, I would say not a super complex nose, but a good nose. A good nose. A good nose. Solid. To your health. It's earthier than I remember. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, earthy, a little bit of oak, light, easy. I, I can see now why, again, when the, we first started the channel, where I was at in my bourbon journey then, like I can see why I liked this. It's very approachable. It's very approachable. It is sweeter than the nose lets mm -hmm. on. I'll, I'll give that. It's just almost like a candiness um, to it. Mm -hmm. We used to describe it as like the Makers or Weller alternative. Like if right. you want to try some, if you like weeded bourbons and you want to try something other than Makers or in more recent years, if you're looking for Weller Special Reserve, but you can't, you can't find it, find it right. try Larceny. Mm -hmm. And I would still stand by that statement. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I mean, they are different taste profiles, but sure. similar in their in their makeup and their yeah. match bill. It's a good place know. to start for it a low a price, start, you know? Yeah, for sure. I would say not a super long finish. I'm ready for that. Yeah. I'm ready for that second sip. It's an easy drinker. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, again, for the price point, for the proof, I wouldn't expect much more than yeah. that. Let's go ahead, go ahead and for that second sip. Yeah, second sip, I'm getting a little bit more, you know, you get acclimated to it. Um, I'm picking a little bit more up. The oak really does mm. shine through. And I think that's a, a difference of say Makers and Weller Special Reserve is it does have more oak in that department. Okay. Price-wise, what are we looking at here, Sarah? Twenty-seven ninety-nine. So under thirty bucks. Okay. You know, it's pretty standard, I think, for under thirty with the ninety-two proof. Second sip. I mean, I'm getting a little bit longer of a finish than I was before, but Agreed. I would still not call it anything more than medium, medium, medium short. Mm -hmm. um, to be expected. That is not a complaint. I think it is something that checks all the boxes of what you expect for a sub thirty dollar ninety-two proof weeded product yeah. from Heaven Hill. Now, you know, if you've watched any of the channel, you may know that we don't super love the term smooth because what does that mean? It means different things to different people. But I do feel like Larceny around the John E. Fitzgerald's legend of him going into the warehouse and finding those special honey barrels that were considered smooth mm -hmm. or just exceptional in some way. And those were the Fitzgerald barrels. I feel like this, you could, describe this as someone who's new to bourbon as, well, hey, this is smooth, smooth. okay? Mm. You, you know, know what else is smooth, Chad? Your I typical transition <laughs> into- <laughs> Sarah with the with the thanks today, yeah. I tried it. Uh, what else is smooth is whiskeyambitions.com where you can get the the uh, Bourbon Bunker t-shirt that I'm wearing for 15% off in the 24 hour flash sale. 24 hours from the publishing of this video, get this uh, Bourbon Bunker for 15% off. And we back also have in a stock. Back in stock. Back in stock is the our whiskey, whiskey shirt. Uh, shirt. But also our Glen Cairns, our water glasses, in fact, all of our glassware, candles, hoodies, hats, and more. Uh, it's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash with bourbon night. Enjoy in our community for as little as one buck a month. That's right, you all hear it every week and you're tired of it by now. But I'm gonna keep telling you because that is where you can get access to our barrel picks after the episode content that is exclusive, discounts on that merch depending on your tier and more. There you go. 
Now, another thing about this, the, the new redesign is they say the label is actually black light sensitive. Ooh. We happen to have a black light. It's uh, sensitive. Right here. Um, it not really reveal anything, just makes it a lot easier to read. It is, yeah, it is illuminated to the eye with the black yeah, light. It exactly. is still visible faintly um, without the black light, but it's kind of a cool little feature, you know, yeah. get a little. It's a whole keyhole, yeah, a little, Fitzgerald you know, type of. You know, secrets and unveiling. Yeah, and, type of thing. Yeah, <laughs> mysteries, I don't know. Mysteries. It's a, it's a decent nose, Sarah. I mean, all in all, I feel the same way about this bottle that I felt mm. about it, you know, a few years ago, which is that it's a solid pick for somebody who is just starting out in their bourbon journey, kind of directionally trying to find out where to go, who doesn't really want to spend more than $30 to find out their taste profile. Mm -hmm. A good way to find out if you like weeded profiles or, you know, more rye profiles, you can, Heaven Hill has a whole portfolio for you to choose from yeah. and explore, but I think it's a good solid choice to start out with. And uh, it's no longer really, I wouldn't say relevant, but it, it doesn't really have so much of a prevalent place in our bourbon journey nowadays, just from where we've navigated to. But if someone poured me this at a cookout or something, I'm gonna drink it. If so, you put it in a cocktail, you put it over a cube of ice, I'm it's gonna drink it, I'm gonna have no problem. Exactly what I was thinking. Like, this wouldn't be a bottle that we're often reaching for because- anymore. anymore. because it's had its time and its place, mm -hmm. right? It served its job. And, and you kind of, I don't wanna generalize here, but a lot of bourbon drinkers, and I'm speaking of our journey, you have your time in your place and you kind of leave other bottles, discover newer bottles, or you know, Evolve. you go up in proof, or you go to different mash bills, or you go to different price points, or you go to ages, different international whiskeys, or whatever, whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. This definitely was a time and a place um, in our journey. And as I sit here with this glass of it on the third or fourth sip, I kind of forget that it's a, a bottle that, you know, we don't reach for mm -hmm. because as you said, it's pretty solid. It's yeah. pretty solid. Like if, you know, if a, I walked into a bar and they only had a few bottles of bourbon on the bar and this was one of them, yeah, I would not hesitate to order it. You know, it depends on the price, right? Like if they want 15 bucks for it, no, because <laughs> yeah, the bottle is less bottle. than 30. <laughs> but you know, if it was like six or seven bucks a pour yeah. if, or like some happy hour special or something, I'd be like, sure, why not? I mean, yeah, I, I remember it fondly. It's a bit nostalgic for the way where it fit in with, with our journey on the channel. For sure, and I'm, I'm actually glad that it had a label redesign so we could get to try it again and kind of uh, rediscover Resurface, it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, maybe we should be reaching for this a little bit more, I don't know. Memories. But... <laughs> Memories. All right. Yeah, yeah, but great. Great for those starting out and beyond. Kind of a utility bottle. All right, well, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Evan Hill. Until next time, drink more bourbon.